Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our August 2024 Patch Tuesday updates rolling out for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, which Microsoft rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 13th of August. Now, Patch Tuesday updates are mandatory compulsory updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically because they do in, they do contain important security fixes. And for Windows 10 uh, this month, uh, the update is KB5041580. So that's our latest cumulative update for Windows 10. Now, for this month, um, we get a good couple of security fixes that have rolled out because the update addresses security issues for Windows 10. And just to go through those quickly, there are 54 vulnerabilities that have been patched in total. Four of those are critical. So that's your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update that's rolled out. 49 are important and one is moderate. Now, just a brief overview of the critical vulnerabilities and because they are important. First of all, the first one is heap based out of bounds right when rendering certain Unicode sequences. The second critical vulnerability is RCE in HTTP boot support may lead to secure boot bypass. Then the third critical vulnerability is Windows Reliable Multicast Transport Driver Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. And then the fourth critical vulnerability that's been patched is Windows TCP IP Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. So uh, four critical, 54 vulnerabilities in total have been addressed. So this is an important security update that has rolled out with KB50411. 580. Now, over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, this update also includes the quality improvements that were part of this update, which was KB5040524, which rolled out near the end of last month, July, which was the optional bug fix C release update. And I posted a whole video on this. So I'll leave that linked down below and in the end screen um, if you want more info. But just a quick recap as to what uh, the update contained. And as mentioned, those improvements now are carried over into this update. So first of all, um, it addressed a DHCP option 235 known issue. So that was an actual known issue that was fixed with that update. It also fixed various issues with Windows Defender Application Control and more. So there were a couple of bug fixes that were addressing um, issues under the hood. So those fixes now are carried over into this month's compulsory mandatory um, B-release Patch Tuesday update. Now over and above that, we also get four fixes that have rolled out that Microsoft obviously deemed important enough to push out with the security update uh, for this month. And the first one is a very important fix because it fixes the BitLocker known issue. And I posted on that known issue, which was causing a lot of headaches for a lot of people. And I'll leave that link down below once again and in the end screen if you'd like more info. But basically, a quick recap is um, a BitLocker recovery screen was showing when you start up your device, which occurred after you install um, the July 9, 2024 Patch Tuesday security update. So go check that video out if you want more info. I might post a more in-depth video on that known issue being fixed later today. And maybe I'll get around to that, but this update addresses that known issue, which is a very important fix, which is good news. Then the second fix that's rolled out as part of this update is for the lock screen, um, where the uh, Use My Windows user account check checkbox was not available on the lock screen to connect to Wi-Fi. So that's one of those silly little issues that's now been addressed. And then there is a net join legacy account reuse fix that's rolled up rolled out apparently the update removes the registry key and then there's a secure boot advanced targeting sbat and linux extensible firmware interface efr fix that's rolled out where apparently the update applies secure boot advanced targeting to systems that run windows so uh, that's more um if you are kind of dual booting Linux with Windows and so on, but that's a fix also taking place under the hood. And over and above that, uh, it also updates the service in stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. 
Now, that's more or less, guys, what's new in the update. And if you are interested uh, in the version and the, sorry, the build upgrade for version 22H2, then as always, we just head into our search and we enter WinVer, which is the About Windows dialog. And after this update has been applied, version 22H2 is sitting on build 19045.4780, which is the latest um, build upgrade for Windows 10. And that's more or less what's new with update KB5041580. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.